coming in. But Robert Fulton here will now have to contemplate and hope that those missed darts don't fester. Nine of them in all. Yes, and uh, he starts impressively here as though he means business, but Thornton knows after two legs of that first set he had a 100% checkout success rate. It's come down to 18%, and he threw away that opening set. Give credit to Jones who took his opportunities, but uh, Thornton now has got to dig deep. He knows he can't go on blowing doubles, otherwise his dreams will fade and die. But uh, this is a storming riposte after only uh, six starts. And still to come, the reigning champion, John Part, in action against the American Bill Davis. 16. Andy Jenkins against Coach Dombey. That should be a fine match. What a night. Still, we have some lovely cheesy treats for you. And Thornton is having a little bit of a delicate uh, time here as well. 100. 41 could be an 11 dark finish here. He just needs something to get him going. He missed the big one. He's going to get a dart at double A. That's much better. Much, much better from Robert Thornton. Should have won the first set, but blew it. And a confident start to the second set, which really he has to win. Yes, he can ill afford to play ducks and drakes on doubles in this, but that was a really cracking opening leg. Uh, 12 darts the kill. I think we continue in that vein. And we should be all square, but that's disappointing. This is the Thornton, is, is such a talented thrower. Just needs to add that extra steel, that extra consistency to his game. Just goes to show, Dave, speaking to him a little earlier, he said he's never practiced so well for a big tournament as he has in the last two or three weeks. Is this going to be his third? Oh, terrific. Such a beautiful pace of readjustment, moves right across to the right hand side, getting the geometry absolutely perfect. A good response, though, isn't it? 140. And he's just beginning to find a lot more consistency here, Robert Thornton. Here he goes again. So it's a lovely classical release for uh, the Scotsman. 100. And. Uh, Wayne Jones, if we look at him, you'll see he just puts a little bit more thrust, the arm stays straighter. Oh dear, that is absolutely unreal. He's bust a 180, he had to go high there. And uh, Thornton, <laughs> it's, uh, it's all going wrong for him. He was absolutely set up there to leave double top. Well, let's be brutally honest. He's only got himself to blame at the minute, having blown the first set big style. He then should have left himself with three darts at double top and could pay the price. He does. Well, so many players and punters and followers in Scotland will groan as that dart goes in. This guy has really helped put Scottish darts back on the map. But at the moment, uh, he's having not far short of a nightmare. How can you bust a 180? Well, we know how you can bust it. Six to get through troubles. Part of the Midlands Jones, yes, and uh, he's riding his luck here. He's, he's a good old pro, and he, he'll certainly won't uh, kick a gift horse in the teeth. But you know. Certainly in the early rounds of a world championship, you need a bit of luck. You need your opponent to uh, to miss doubles and it's a usual horsing analogy. Fulton is having a mare. Yeah, you're right. Looking a bit like a little boy that Santa Claus forgot. And Jones 
comparatively, I think he's been Santa's baby tonight. Gone his way, but still this much far from over. But you know, Fulton is just about 10 points well, ahead of Jones on the averages. And uh, his finishing has been the problem. This is below par from well, Robert Fulton. 40. But only he can remedy the situation. And that's better to leave himself on tops. Real test of his character, Thornton. Uh, everything, the, the dice have rolled against him pretty well right through this match. And now he has a chance to go leg in front. And uh, that's another impressive leg, 13 darts. So he has unquestioned class. He's just going to settle down with more throws like that. Well, Fulton, who missed nine darts to win the opening set. 50 You would think in a, a good position yet again to win this second set. And he has to, pure and simple. One you know, for, certainly for, uh, for Robert Thornton, take a little bit into consideration. I mean, this is the biggest stage in world darts. I'm not just talking about the tournament, it's a massive stage here at the Alexandra Palace and of course the first time that, that Robert Thornton will have experienced this, so it'll take a little bit of getting used to. 16. And of course there's so much at stake for the man, that's a terrific fish eye look at this uh, wonderful sporting arena. The biggest stage in world darts. And, uh, when I came to the venue this 16. afternoon, I, even despite being here 12 months ago, just sort of having a, a second take to actually believe that it is that big, the stage. 80. Stuart Pike, stage struck at Alexandra Palace. Well, useful last dart for Wayne Jones. Robert Thornton, the used to dominating games with his heavy scoring. Is this going to be a fourth 180? There's the answer. Three maximums in this uh, set as well. But surely this time, Thornton isn't going to make a mess of it. Well, one would have hoped not for all his followers north of the border. 12, double 13 now. 54. Wayne, you require oh, can Wayne Jones again pull off grand larceny here. 124. Not a possibility. Can afford a rueful smile. Now Thornton has got to settle 40. the sinew. Pick up Will 13 to be a fortunate double for him. There it is. There is the double. Thornton back on the high road towards victory.